Welcome to this tutorial. Now in this tutorial we will see how to use content providers for data sharing within applications in Android mobile devices. Uh, so uh, now we will use content providers for sharing contact information from the contacts app to uh, the applications that we are going to develop. So for that let's start from a new uh, Android Studio project and uh, select an MPT activity and give the name to content uh, provider then uh, finish so the project is ready let's start from uh, giving the permission for read contacts uh, so uh, over here let's uh, uh, use uh, permission for Android dot permission dot read contacts. So uh, we have uh, given the permission for reading contacts. Uh, uh, and here let's move to the activity main dot XML file and uh, move to the design part and remove just this hello let's text view since we don't need it uh, and add uh, a list view. For displaying the contact information, and let's add a button for uh, to add an event to load contacts to this list view. So uh, let us uh, give the constraints for uh, this. Nice. So let's change a. Uh, the ID to contact and the text to view contact uh, and in addition to this for uh, the list view we have to give uh, an ID just a list view Uh, so we have given an ID for uh, each of them and let's move to the uh, main activity and define a list view then uh, I have to define a button also the button instance So I have to give the value for each of the instances. Uh, so I have to change this to contact. And this also to contact. Nice. Now let's add an event to a contact button. Uh, so uh, when uh, we click uh, this contact button, we want to see the contact information and let's size and name to view contact. This is a method that we are going to define uh, so uh, just press and enter to create a method and select input activity and here uh, let us uh, check the the permissions for loading contacts first so if context combat context combat dot check self permission uh, this we have to give the context uh, manifest dot permission dot read contacts uh, not equals to uh, package manager dot permission granted if the permission is not granted then uh, 
make it to request the permission for a permission so activity combat activity combat dot request permission activity combat dot request permission this we have to give the context uh, then new string of manifest dot permission dot read contacts and we have to give a request code so uh, we have finished the the permission for setting the permission else it will execute this block of code which means if uh, the permission is already set then uh, this block of code will be uh, executed uh, nice so let's define an array list for storing the contact information and make it to string type contact the name your array list uh, then uh, after defining this let us uh, define uh, an instance of the content provider using URI contacts contract contacts contract dot uh, common data kindness dot phone because we are uh, loading from the phone is a uh, content provider and let's define a uh, a content resolver object content resolver let's define a content resolver object and just say cr uh, it will handle yet content resolver method uh, and finally let's define a cursor object this cursor object will uh, hold data from the content resolver so uh, cr dot query uh, and this uh, query uh, this uh, content resolver object uh, accepts data from the content provider that is uri and let's give uh, the rest uh, of the parameters to null mm, nice uh, so uh, here uh, we have to check if there is uh, the contact information if cursor uh, dot get count greater than zero which means if there is contacts in the contact app uh, it will execute this block of code move to next file all contacts are read uh, let's define uh, string variable for contact name dot get string sir dot get column and index uh, this contacts contract dot common data kinds dot phone dot uh, display name and uh, nice uh, so let's uh, keep uh, this and let's duplicate a uh, for a contact number uh, and change this to contact number then uh, we have to change this to number well so uh, finally we have to put this contact name and contact number to the array list contact contact dot add uh, contact name contact name and uh, we have to concatenate with contact number and we have to give uh, a new line between them which means first the contact name and in a new line the contact number will be displayed uh, in our 
list view so uh, finally we have to set the uh, list adapter list view dot set adapter new array adapter and you have to give the context to this android dot resource dot layout and simple list item and finally we have to give uh, our data contact so uh, we have finished writing our program that there is an error what is that error so there is an here have to yeah put a semicolon uh, now uh, it is time to test the program so here is the output of the program uh, if we uh, press uh, or click uh, view contact button uh, then uh, it will uh, request the permission to uh, for reading contacts if we allow uh, then uh, and uh, repress or uh, click again then a list of contacts will be displayed for us uh, here is uh, a contact that i have saved in my phone for demonstration purpose so uh, in order by scrolling up and down you can see a list of contacts uh, that have saved in the contacts app uh, to uh, um, our current content provider app so we have shared the data from the content provider to uh, this application uh, content provider from the contact app thanks for watching this video please like and subscribe for more videos